Freeform is going to be a great way to brainstorm your ideas with others, and we're building it right into iPadOS, macOS, and iOS later this year. Apple have introduced something called Freeform. It's a live collaboration notes experience that will be available for Mac, iOS and iPad OS. We're going to talk through it in this video, what it is, what it does, and everything you need to know about how you could potentially use it in the future. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Pipedrive, a sales CRM software that you can check out in the link in the description, and there's a healthy discount too. Apple always busy uh, around June time, WWDC 2022 kicked off, and they introduced a few updates. We know about iOS 16 and the MacBook Pro uh, and also the MacBook Air as well. So as you can imagine, they have been busy bees, but they introduced something very subtly in the iPad OS segment of their conference called Freeform. They definitely interested me. I actually missed that part of the conference, but then went back to it and was like, okay, this is interesting. Now, Apple themselves are sort of taking on applications like Mural and Miro. These are live whiteboarding applications that are already out there, but Apple sort of looking to take a piece of the pie from this and embed it inside of their FaceTime and Notes experience. It's a combination of the two. So what is it? Essentially, it is a layer of FaceTime, an application that you'll be able to open whilst you're doing a video call. Maybe this is for work and you will be able to, whether on iPad, Mac, or iPhone, be able to collaborate. And for for example, with the iPad, that means could be sketching ideas, it could be mean creating post-it notes, it could be uploading files or web links, etc. Anything visually that you're going to pour out in front of the screen. And this is a canvas for you all to work on. So for iPad users, this is probably going to be huge for team collaboration. There's apps out there, as I said, like Miro and Explain uh, Everything, which are all really popular with this market and being able to visualize together in real time, whether that's a mind map or even a diagrams or, or a, a visual idea, that creative element, element of it has a huge weighting when making a decision. So Apple have essentially entered this market with this application. They sneak peeked it and it does a few cool things, things that I actually haven't seen in comparison with some of the other applications. For example, if a team member's working on a specific area, it'll put brackets around it and hone in on it. But what's nice is you can go to the top right -hand corner and find where people are exactly working inside of the document, which would be cool if you had 15 people and you want to be able to zoom in on their ideas, which would be quite nice. It also um, embeds a lot of file collaboration as well, something the others do already, but something I know that if your team is already using a lot of Apple software and products, this will probably be a really nice option. Now, Freeform looks really well designed and looks perfect for Apple Pencil users. They haven't given a clear date for when this is becoming available, although obviously this sort of coincides with the iOS 16 rollout of the live collaboration abilities, so I'm sure they're going to be waiting for the API of that to be continued to expand and see where it goes from there. So maybe it'll be November, we don't really know, but we do know that traditionally iOS is released in September and I doubt it'll be on that actual release date, although let's see. So this update is super interesting. Apple entering a new market, extending their Notes app experience, and something that I reckon a lot of people would quite use. But obviously it does take a big chunk of the market, Whiteboarding applications, especially uh, team ones, are huge. Miro being one of the better ones out there, has a huge market cap, and as you can imagine, a really big opportunity. But you're also looking at um, another market as well, which is the personal whiteboard experience, which is commonly seen in apps like Muse, which has gotten popular over the last couple of years, and Notability and other such experiences. But again, I don't know whether this is gonna be available in a personal context for 
this use. Obviously, we've already got Apple Notes, so may not be able to really find much value in that experience. So Apple Freeform, it'll be interesting to see where it comes. If you're new here to the channel, do subscribe because we'll probably do a video when it lands and maybe how to use it and things like that. But I wanted to overview of what it does, how it works and when it will become available. My prediction, November, but let's see. Anyway, folks, a big thank you. Make sure to subscribe and check out Pipe Drive below. And thanks to those folks for sponsoring.